Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're going to take a look at NBA Western Conference Finals. We've got the Golden State Warriors traveling to play the San Antonio Spurs. We've got Le Leonard. We don't know for sure if Kawhi will be uh, in the lineup. Uh, we know if he can. He's, this is the game he's got to get back to. He missed game two. Um, we saw what happened to the Spurs the minute he went out of game one, and uh, they were never in game two. Guys, do the Spurs have a chance? We know they got the, you know, I feel the best coach in basketball. Can he work his mastery and find a way to uh, get a game here? Well, I think the people that watch these videos over the years know the value of Leonard when he's not on the panel. <laughs> or, I mean, in the game. <laughs> and uh, these teams really struggle. This is an interesting handicap here because you've got what you've seen with your eyes compared to what you know in the past. You mentioned Popovich being such a great coach. His teams always give 100%. His last game, they looked terrible. Without Kawhi in the first game, they looked terrible. Do you take a look at this to say, well, Golden State is just so much better than they are, they're going to crush them? Or do you come back and say, okay, well, my eyes are telling me that Golden State's great, but you've got the best coach in the NBA, you've got the second or third best team in the NBA, regardless of Kawhi's going to play. The line tells me right now that Kawhi's not going to play. Uh, they wouldn't have had it up that high. They would never make them as a home underdog in that number with Kawhi in the lineup. So do you trust what you've seen with your eyes or history? I've got to think that San Antonio is going to come out, and this is going to be their biggest game they've played at home in a long time. You look at the first game, Ralph, in when Kawhi was in there, and he wasn't 100% for that first game because he was coming off, uh, you know, tweaking the ankle the game before. Uh, but was it a case of Golden State just maybe coming out, you know, rusty from them having so much time off before the start of the conference finals? Because San Antonio had control of that game well into the third quarter prior to the injury. I think, I think we have a huge overreaction of what have you done lately. Everyone's looking at one game where Golden State wins by 36 points. Okay, let's go back to game one. Golden State wins by two. Had Kawhi played, he would have been healthy. Let's go back to game six, Houston and San Antonio. Kawhi was out. San Antonio goes to Houston. They win that game 114-75. Oh, and by the way, the last six series when Golden State has been on the road, game one. This year they went to Portland. They won by six, didn't cover. This year they went to Utah, laying nine. They did cover that by a point and a half. Last year in the playoffs, game one at Houston, they lost by one. Game one at Portland, they lost by 12. Game one at OKC, they lost by 28. Game one at Cleveland, they lost by 30. Put this team on the road against the best coach, against a team that showed they can win at Houston without Kawhi. I think it's a gift taking the points. All right, you'll do it with or without Kawhi? I, I say you grab it now because if Kawhi all of a sudden gets better on Saturday and they're going to play, this line's going to go down two or three points. I bet it right now. It's five and a half anywhere to six and a half, so there's some gray areas there. Some places hedging if he's going to play or not. If you could find that six and a half, absolutely grab it. Right. Well, if you are going to take him out, you know, we do uh, other podcasts and things with a guy who likes to sprinkle a little bit. <laughs> I think a sprinkling on San Antonio to win this game straight up is going to be a nice payback. All right. Well, I'm going to go this one uh, a couple different ways. I, I think you've got three opportunities in this game uh, with the San Antonio Spurs. The first one is they're going to come out the first game at home, down 0-2. The crowd's going to be electric, and I'm going to take Spurs first quarter. You know, with a number right now at plus, you know, six, six and a half, you're getting a very, you'll get a nice number on a first quarter wager. They win that first quarter, we'll do that. I'll, I'm going to split my bet up into three, uh, three equal bets. The second one is I'm going to take a first half wager on the under. Now we've seen, uh, and Matt Holt was in here doing horse videos with us earlier, and he's talked about all these games, the favorites and the overs are getting there. But if you've watched some of these games, they've been lower scoring in the first half, and then all of a sudden they get that one five-minute stretch where both teams go crazy and it changes the pace of the game, and then it soars over. San Antonio does not want to trade points with Golden State. Golden State has too many offensive weapons. You just can't do that. So if they're going to be successful at the beginning of the game, 
it's going to be a slower paced game. I think we get the value chopping that over under, you know, in half, taking the under in the first half. And then, of course, the third uh, tier of that bet is agree with you. I'm going to put a wager on San Antonio plus the points for the full game. So I'm going to break my bet up into three things. I got three different shots. I think I win at least two out of three of those with San Antonio breaking the bets up that way. Any other thoughts, guys, before we wrap it up? Nope, sounds yeah, this, good. This is the game that San Antonio needs to have. Normally, if a team takes a 3-0 lead, you see the opposition just give up in game four. It'd be interesting to see if that happens, what San Antonio does, because that's not in Pop's vocabulary, and I think they gave up in game two. They did. I, I got I to gotta agree with you, too. But we have seen in the past, too, where Pop, um, not that he did in this one, but we've seen Pop just pull the starters, too, and just – you know, wave the white flag, knowing, you know, you lose one game, that's just one game. You know, the battle is the race to four, so save players. But uh, I agree with you, and guys, uh, don't forget, you want to save the 10 bucks this weekend on a package, use that coupon code PREAKNESS10. That's PREAKNESS in the number 10. Pick your favorite capper, pick a package, use it at checkout, the coupon code PREAKNESS10, save yourself $10. We'll be back with the best bets next here at wagertalk.com. 